How to use EasyTag CE Plan View. The Plan View is the main view. The Scale dropdown is very useful. It allows to quickly zoom in or out to a specific scale. The Plan View toolbar is displayed at the bottom of the Plan View. The first icon is Fit All. It fits all background maps and survey jobs into the plan. The second icon gives access to different items. With zoom in, you can click in the window for a predefined zoom or use it as a zoom box. Touch the upper box corner and drag down. Center to means that the plan will be centered at the position where you will click. Center to GNSS position means your actual position will remain the center of the plan view. It will pan according to where the job takes you. Select allows to select a GPS feature or any items available in your plan view. Once selected, you can navigate to the item. The bearing and distance are displayed. When you will move forward to the point, the arrows will be aligned and the distance will decrease. When you will reach the point, you can exit navigation by disabling the navigation icon. When an item is selected, you can also edit it. You can delete it or review its properties, its attributes. To unselect an item, click anywhere in the plan view. The second toolbar icon also allows to draw in the plan view. You can draw any features available in your data dictionary. Once draw is selected, choose the feature you want to draw. To draw, a job file must be started. Click in the plan where you want to draw the selected feature. Enter the feature attributes and click OK. The drew feature will be displayed. If you draw a line or polygon, click in the plan view to add polyline vertices. When you are finished, close the polyline using the open polyline icon. If you select the line or polygon you drew, you can see its length and area in the status bar. The measure distance tool allows us to measure either a simple line distance, cumulative distances for a polyline, and parameter and area for a polygon. Once the measure distance tool is selected, select the type of distance to measure. For a simple line measurement, a distance between two points, click in the plan view to select the two points. The distance and bearing will be displayed in the status bar. If you measure a cumulative distance between several points, a polyline, the distance and azimuth for the last segment measured, and the total distance is displayed in the status bar. If you selected a polygon, its perimeter and area will be displayed in the status bar. The undo button allows to unselect the last point used for a measurement, while the eraser one allows to erase the complete measurement. While measuring a distance, it is possible to zoom in or out. To do so, you can use the scale dropdown or the zoom menu available from the pop-up menu. The pop-up menu is accessible if you tap and hold the touchscreen. This icon allows to expand each map layers in order to select a specific feature. Once selected, you can edit the feature or navigate to it. The last icon allows to set the plan view orientation. By default, it is oriented north. If you select plan view dynamic, the plan view will be oriented toward your direction of travel and the north arrow will indicate the north. If you are not moving, it will be oriented north. If you need help to use OnBus software, watch our videos, visit our knowledge base, or contact us by email.